Hi fifth graders, our next math lesson is on units of time. All right, today we're gonna to convert different units of time, all right, such as this beautiful chart here, which if you're following along in your math textbook, you will find the same chart on page 492, 492. All right, it's a great resource. All right, the units of measurement, um, units of time that we're gonna talk about today, I'm pretty sure most of these are going to be very, very familiar with you. Uh, talking about them in prior grades. All right, as we all know, one minute is equivalent to 60 seconds. All right, if we have one hour, that is equal to 60 minutes. One day has 24 hours in it, and one week has seven days. Now, the bottom one, this one might be new to you. All right, I know that you know one year has 12 months in it, but this part of it, the fact that it has 52 weeks, that part of it might be new to you. All right, so um, as I said, this chart you will find on page 492 in your math book, and it'll be a great resource to help you through this lesson. All right, if we look over on our sideboard here, all right, we also have another chart like we did for length, capacity, and weight. All right, and if we start with our smallest unit down at the bottom, that is a second to convert from seconds to minutes. All right, if you are going from smaller units to larger units, remember you're going to divide. And if you're going from larger units to smaller units, remember you're going to multiply. So if we have a certain number of seconds and we want to change that to minutes, we will divide by 60. If we want to change minutes to hours, we're going to divide that by 60 also. All right, to go from hours to days, we will divide that by 24. To go from days to weeks, we will divide that by seven. All right, now the next one, we, there's not really an exact formula, which is why we put a little question mark here because we can't go exactly from weeks to months, so we're just gonna skip that one. All right, but we do know that the number of months in a year is 12, so if we were going from months to years, we would divide that by 12. All right, and then going down the other way, all right, if we're going from larger units down to smaller units, we're gonna multiply. All right, going from years to months, we would multiply that by 12. All right, if we're going from weeks to days, we would multiply that by seven. From days to hours, we would multiply that by 24. Hours to minutes, we would multiply that by 60. And minutes to seconds, we would multiply that by 60 also. All right, so let's do some examples here. Students spend about 360 minutes a day in school. We wish you were here in school with us. Mm -hmm. How many hours a day do you spend in school? So we're gonna start with the 360 that they gave us, and they're asking us to convert it to hours. So we're gonna use our, our, our conversion, how many minutes are in an hour? 60. There are 60, all right? And so we would take 360 and we would divide it by 60. This is kind of a mental math one. We know that six goes into 36 six times, so 60 would go into 360 six times. All right, so if we spend 360 minutes a day in school, that converts to six hours a day in school. So just as we did, they said to take 360 and divide it by 60. And when you do that, you end up with six. So the students spend six hours a day in school. The track team spends 7,200 seconds in track practice. How many minutes is this? So now you see the word seconds and you see the word minutes. So you have to say to yourself, how many seconds are in a minute? 60. 60. All right, so we're going to take, and again, since we are going from a smaller unit, smaller unit to a larger unit, we are going to do what? Divide. divide. We are going to divide. All right, so in each of these minutes, there's 60 seconds, so we will divide by 60. So if we're gonna do this mentally, all right, uh, we could um, say, how many times does six go into 72? Once. All right. But this would be one that you maybe take a calculator. I think that's a great idea. All right, so let's use our calculator on this one. All right, and so we would punch in 7,200 and we would divide it by 60 and that equals 120 minutes. All right, now in this one, this was the new one that we talked about, which you might have heard before, you might not have. 
but we need to know how many weeks are in a year. All right, so look back in your chart on page 492, how many weeks are in a year? 52. There are 52. So we're gonna take 72 and we're gonna divide it by 52. How many times does 52 go into 72? Just one, one. It goes in there one time. And when we subtract that out, how much do we have left over? 20. 20. So what that means is 72 weeks equals one year and then our remainder here is the number of weeks left over, so it would be one year and 20 weeks. Since 52 weeks is one year, just as we did, they are going to divide 72 by 52 to find the number of years. All right, and just as we did, they got one with the remainder of 20, and what that means is one whole year and then 20 weeks of another year. Job. All right, so we're going to solve this one the same way. Again, in we're, ch we're changing and converting weeks to years. We need to know how many weeks are in a year. 52. There's 52. So we're going to take 112 and we are going to divide it by 52. All right, how many times does 52 go into 112? Two, two times. goes in there two times. 52 times 2 is 104. And then when we subtract, 12 minus 4 equals 8. And so the two up here means there's two full years. And then our remainder down here, eight, means there would be eight weeks left over. So 112 weeks equals two years and eight weeks. Now we can also kind of do parts like we've done for some of our other units. And uh, we can figure out how many days 100 hours is. All right, so you need to look at the words that are in the question. The words are days and hours. What was the conversion we talked about that related days to hours? Oh, there are 24 hours in a day. There are 24 hours in a day. So if we want to change 100 hours, all right, and figure out how many days that's going to be, we are going from a smaller unit to a larger unit. So are we going to, to multiply or divide? Divide. We are going to divide. And we're going to take 100. There's 24 hours in each of these days. So we're going to divide 24 by 100. How many times does 24 go into 100? Four. It goes in there four times if we multiply that out. And here's a point where you could use your calculator. 24 times 4, if you wanted to, is 96. All right. And then we subtract and we get a remainder of 4. All right. So now what that, what does this 4 mean? That's how many days total. Okay. Whole days so that total. represents days. And then the 4 left over is for what? Hours. It is 4 hours. So it's 4 days and 4 hours. So that is one way to write it. Another way we can take this and we can make it into a fraction. So again, you said there are 24 hours in a day, so it would be four hours out of 24. All right, is four 24 in the simplest form? No. no. They're both divisible by what? Four. four. Four divided by four is? One. And 24 divided by four is? Six. Six. All right, so we could write it as four, and then we could write it as a fraction, four and one six days. 100 hours is equivalent to four and one six days. All right, we can write it that way, or we can write it that way. All right, so just as we did, they're gonna have us divide 100 by 24, and when they did that, they got four remainder four, which was four days and four hours, and then we converted that into a fraction, into a mixed number, four and one six days. All right, so two different ways to write that answer, four days and four hours, or four and one six days. All right, so let's try another example. Now you have to look at the words in there. The key words in this question are weeks and days. What was the conversion we talked about that compared weeks and days? There are seven days in a week. There are seven days in a week. All right, so we've got 33 days. We're going from days to weeks. So are we going to multiply or divide? We're going to divide because we're going from a smaller unit. Days is smaller than weeks, so we're going to divide. All right, and we will take 33 and divide it by 7 because there are 7 days in one week. How many times does 7 go into 33? It goes in there 4 times. 7 times 4 is? All right, and when we subtract, 13 minus 8 equals 5. All right, so the 4 means 4 what? 
weeks. weeks, four weeks, and the five down here means days left over. Days left over. All right, four weeks and five days. All right, letter C would be the correct answer. Good job. All right, again, all right, when you're doing your conversions, all right, please refer back to page 492. All right, the chart with all these conversions on it and that will help you. And then also um, you are allowed to use your calculator to do some of the converting also. All right, we hope that we just find you all doing well and we just want you to know we miss you and we wish you were here.